Stay tuned for more. Hi, and welcome to another veg inspired vlog series. Today we wanna to show you what we eat. This video might span over a couple of days, but we wanna make sure that you have the recipes to get you eating potatoes. So this week we picked potatoes as our main starch. So most of the recipes you're going to see are going to be potatoes. Let's get into this video. This morning we're going to have pizza potatoes. This recipe is inspired by the recipe on drmcdougall.com. I'll put a link in the description below. It's also in the starch solution book, which I'll put a link in the description below as well. We are going to do a stovetop method. It's a slow cooker recipe. So those of you who love to fix it, forget it and eat it when you get home from work, this is a great recipe for you to find. Like I said, it's linked below, but we're going to show you the stovetop version. For the stovetop version, we're going to heat up some water to do a water saute of the sliced mushrooms and the sliced onions and peppers that we used as a topping. Um, you saw we used about a half an onion and about a half a bell pepper and an entire eight ounce of the sliced mushrooms. Next, we sliced four cups of red potatoes for the recipe. Cheers. This is just some hibiscus tea that I brewed. I use a loose leaf tea and a reusable, I'm sorry, I, I use loose leaf tea and one of the tea, loose leaf tea brewers. I'll have to show you that. And then I brew it with water in the mason jar in the refrigerator so it brews like overnight. And then I add some sparkling water to it and some lemon juice and it's like a, hibiscus spritzer. It's delicious. Great way to get that hibiscus tea in. I always try to drink some hibiscus tea, especially if I feel like a little scratchy throat or a cold coming on because it is so immune boosting and I'd gotten out of the habit, but it just sounded really good the other day. So I did it. Um, yeah, we've got some great stuff cooking up. Sleepy cat over here. Glee. Ooh. We were lucky to find an oil-free simple pizza sauce as well as the No Evil Sausages. Now these No Evil Sausages have normal ingredients. They use a base of vital wheat gluten and red kidney beans and chickpea flour to make delicious sausages. The no evil sausages, since they are mostly whole ingredients, we decided to add two of those to our pizza potatoes to give them a nice sausagey flavor. If you didn't want this, you could always add additional fennel or spices to spice up your potatoes. Once the peppers and onions were cooked down, we added the sausage, stirred that in, and let the sausage kind of brown up and warm up to a nice temperature. Next, we added in some frozen spinach. This was another add-on that we thought would be perfect. And then we always add a little water to prevent burning and well as well as deglazing the pan so we could get those burnt brown bits off the bottom of our pan. For a good stir, we added the oil-free sauce as well as our potatoes. Then we gave them a generous sprinkling of salt to help soften them. Throw powder. Okay. Because the sauce didn't have any. Right. It was just tomatoes and... A little oregano. Yep. And we covered the pan and cooked until the potatoes were soft and tender. Delicious! Then 
those pizza potatoes were delicious. They had such a great flavor that tomato sauce was really nice. We did add a little garlic powder and some oregano, you saw that. And then when we plated it up, we added some nutritional yeast. It was awesome. We're totally full. We are still in South Florida. Um, if you've watched some of our other videos, we hiked with the alligators at the Everglades National Park. And then we also took the boat out to Boca Chita Key as part of Biscayne National Park. So I'll put the links to those videos in the description below. Um, we leave South Florida on Saturday of next week and we head to Central Florida. We are going to Disney World. So we're excited about that. Camping at the Disney Fort Wilderness Campground, which is really exciting. It's our last Sunday here. We're going to clean up around here a little bit and then we're headed to my parents. We're going to make them the infamous twice baked potatoes from this video. I probably won't film much over there because you've already watched those potatoes being made. That's all I have for you. In that intro, I promised you potato recipes and I didn't even think about the fact that we had planned twice baked potatoes for a significant amount of our meals. So, we actually made the twice baked potatoes from the Plant Pure Nation cookbook from episode six, this episode. This one right here, this episode. From this episode, um, we made a quadruple batch. So we enjoyed them that night that we made them, which was the night of the potato, pizza potatoes. We ate them with my parents. And then we had them for lunch and dinner the next day. And oh, the next day we made garlicky mashed potatoes. I'll put a picture. For this, we just roasted a head of garlic, mashed up a, I don't know, I guess I did about two pounds of red potatoes, boiled them and then mashed them and then added a little non-dairy milk to get them nice and creamy with that garlic. And then we just salt and peppered them and ate them. I mean, it was that simple and that was our meal and it was delish. And then today we're making mustard glazed kale and potatoes out of the Plant Pure Kitchen cookbook. And I'm really excited about this sweet glazy mustard sauce over these wilted kale greens and then potatoes. I, so real quick, I wanna share this recipe with you. So grab a pen and paper. So we're going to double the recipe. The recipe calls for one pound of red potatoes. We're actually using yellow. One onion, chopped. Five garlic cloves, minced half a cup of vegetable broth, four cups of finely cut chopped kale. So first what we're going to do is we're actually steaming our potatoes and then you shock them in cold water so they don't become mushy. And then in a nonstick skillet, you saute the onion and garlic in the veggie broth until lightly browned about eight minutes. And then we'll add that finely chopped kale Cook until it's wilted about five minutes. Reduce the heat to low and continue cooking for five more minutes. Add the potatoes and then cook until heated through. And then we'll mix up the mustard sauce, which is a fourth of a cup of Dijon mustard, two tablespoons of pure maple syrup, one tablespoon of balsamic vinegar, and a fourth of a teaspoon of black pepper. And then we will drizzle that sauce over top of our kale and potato mixture and then we're gonna eat it. I am very excited about this dish. You guys, look at this. 
Oh my goodness. The house smells amazing. I'm super excited. Let's give it a taste. Totally squatting on the ground. Mmm, yum. That sweet and tangy mustard sauce. And then the potatoes that are cooked perfectly and the kale. Mm. Oops. What do you think? Good? Do you think it would be good with tempeh bacon next time? Because we have some tempeh bacon. I feel like I have German potato salad. Mmm. It is kind of like a German potato salad. Warm, flavorful, sweet and tangy. Mm. I'm gonna go eat. All right, that's a wrap. I hope you enjoyed these two potato recipes. I'm gonna enjoy this hop tea. Give this video a thumbs up. Tap the subscribe if you're new around here. We are so excited to bring you on our weight loss journey. Thanks for watching and have a great day.